you can't force pattern onto a landscape or onto a design. Pattern for pattern's sake is very dangerous. What happens is after we've gone through the course and we'll go through pattern extensively and the rest of the course as well, what you'll realize is the process of approaching design, the process of analysis, the process of a random set of lists, the process of observation, experiential design, what happens is pattern starts to emerge. Pattern starts to reveal itself. You start to realize the sunrise and the sunset and the, and, and the path of the sun changes every day of the year. That in itself is a pattern. The patterns of the prevailing winds, the patterns of the cold wind, the hot wind, the, the wind that brings the rain, the patterns of water flow on the landscape, the pattern of the landscape itself in its form, they're all patterns that we connect to and make adjustments to in relation to design then as we start to make these sort of analytical decisions about efficiency and connectivity, patterns start to reveal. It's almost like layers start to peel back. They were already there. You did not enforce those patterns onto the landscape. You might make a herb spiral, but you patterned it not at a distance, but close to the kitchen door because that's a pattern of use because it's a micro system of growing a lot of herbs in a small space with a lot of drainage positions in that spiral. Just forget about that a minute. You're asking about the larger patterns that we see. That's what I think you're asking. That doesn't come straight away. This is like riding a bike. You don't just jump on a bike when you've never ridden one and find you can ride it. But the day you ride it is the day you never forget to ride ever again. And Everybody describes pattern like that. I don't get it, I don't get it, and suddenly I can ride. And once you can ride, a little bit of practice and you can pull tricks. So I try not to go too far pulling tricks in front of your pattern, but to make it explainable, that's an analogy I like to use. It's a wonderful thing. Once you get it, once you, you, you persist in, in looking, observing, and receiving the patterns, as you get it, layers start to become obvious that you can peel back and you reveal the patterns and it never stops revealing from then on. And, and that's actually very similar to how Bill Mollison first realized that what he was actually trying to conceive was a system of design. It, it, it's, it, it was a challenge and eventually it sort of revealed itself and rolled itself out like a carpet rolling down the hill over the, over the horizon to infinity. That's how he actually described it. So it, it, the system itself kind of peeled back and rolled out in front of him. Um, and, and that's how it will be for you, for pattern. Once you get it, once you, you never see the world in, in any other way but a, a patterned event, which is exactly what it is. And um, you'll enjoy pattern when we get right through it. I hope, it, uh, I hope it'll happen straight away. It could well do. Thank <laughs> you.